This is what we're going to make today. It's just a uh, a car radio that I got at Walmart for uh, 19 something, so less than $20. And it, um, it's got Bluetooth and auxiliary in right here. Um, it's 100 watts. Um, it'll you know do forward speakers, backward back speakers, uh, right and left. I will probably just use um, two of the speakers. Um, but I, I made this little oak cabinet, um, and you know you could you wouldn't even have to put it in a box. But I've used car stereos in my shop for quite a while. You know when you go to try to find um, some type of stereo to run in your shop, they, they're kind of expensive. So uh, I started using these years ago and lightning struck and blew out the one I had so I had to build a new one and I just thought I'd show you how I did it. All right, let's get started. And this is just one I got at Walmart for 19 something, so right at $20. And um, it's got Bluetooth, it's got USB, MP3, really none of that I care about. I just care about the Bluetooth and the radio. So I've got to build an enclosure for it and which I wouldn't have to do, but I want an enclosure for it, and then um, I need antenna and a power supply for it. Now this particular stereo comes with the cord that you need, and that's kind of important because if you don't have this, a lot of times this connector will cost you like ten dollars on top of the, you know, you can get the whole this whole radio for twenty bucks, but if you don't have this, you got to buy it, and it's, it'll be probably like ten dollars. All right, so I cut about a twenty degree angle on there and that just makes it so it'll lean back you know make it easier to get to the screen and I've cut one piece already and so I'm just gonna line that up right there like that and mark it on the back side like that and then cut this last piece off. and that gives me two identical pieces just like that now the box has to be pretty much you just have a tiny little lip uh, to keep this thing in there. So I've got to make the box pretty much exactly the same size. So I'm just going to line up one edge right there. Just like that. And scribe me a line right here. And then I'll go back over to the saw and cut that off. Now this is the piece that we just cut that just fits this, like that. And so now what we're going to do is the next piece is going to be the top. And it's got to be this piece plus the widths of these two. So we're just going to stack it all up like this, just like that, and scrap another line, and then I'll cut that off. Okay, so now this is what our, how our box is going to work. So it would be pretty much like that once we get this all glued together. Alright, so in order to get my dimensions right, or to get this board, this one down here in the right spot. Let's talk about wiring this thing up. Okay, so here in the connections table, it says red is goes to ignition or accessories and yellow goes to the 12 volt battery for memory. And that just means if you disconnect the yellow, you're gonna lose like your preset radio stations and stuff like that. And the red is what would turn it on. You know, like when you turn your car on, your radio comes on. That's what those two are. So in this application, I don't have a battery, so I'm going to connect the red and the yellow together. And then I'm just going to use, the only other leads that I'm using are the speaker. And I'm going to use left front and right front. So I can connect to my speakers um, using those wires. And then the, the rear ones, I, I'm not going to worry about. You know, if you had a room where you were doing four speakers, you could use all four of them. Okay, so this is actually what I've done with mine. So I've got the I've got the yellow and the red tied together. This is a 12 volt power supply. And you know, what I would encourage you, if you're gonna do any kind of stuff like this, anytime you throw something away, keep the power supply that goes with it. This came from a printer um, years ago and it's 12 volts, um, 12 volts, 3.3 amps. Now that's, that's pretty 
heavy duty. I don't know that I need that much amperage um, to run this thing, but we'll see. But um, so anyway, I said you need to test it and find out which which side is positive and which side is negative. And so I connected the uh, yellow and red together, and that goes to the uh, the positive side of this. And then the black wire goes to the negative, just like it says in the uh, instructions. Now, rather than connect these straight to a um, a speaker, I've actually connected it to a jack so that I can plug this into my speakers the way it, my system was already set up I plug this into another amplifier that actually uh, runs my speakers but for you you would just connect um, these two gray wires to one speaker and these two uh, white wires to another speaker and you'd be good to go and here's the other ones that go to the rear I think this one raises an antenna or something if you have that type but um, these go to your rear speakers, which I'm just not going to use. All right, so let's give it a try. Okay, so that's picking up the radio. It's doing a good job. It's also got an input for auxiliary in, in case you want to, you know, run a. I don't know what you'd want to do because it's got Bluetooth too. So. Anyway, well, I hope um, this was helpful to somebody. Thank you for watching.